Okay, now what I wanted to uh, talk about on this little slide, this won't shouldn't take very long. This, now, the heading here is orthographic re reading of plane surfaces. And what I wanted to point out here is if you look at this uh, as a little bit of review here for a normal surface, if you'll just pretend this is like a sheet of paper, okay, you look at the top, all right, and you get a true area, okay. Nothing is foreshortened because it's normal, it's flat. Everything, every view is either parallel or perpendicular to every other view. Uh, this top view is flat and it is perpendicular to what we would call the front view. It is also perpendicular to what we would call the right side view. And this view right here is perpendicular to this frontal view. Okay, this view right here is uh, uh, the view that is 90 degrees from this view. And I've got my mouse pointer right here. Okay, remember where that point is. That's looking at the very tip end of this line. Okay, the mouse pointer here is represented by this one point right here at the very end. So this is the right view of this uh, frontal view. If hopefully that makes some sense. All right, and if we look here at the uh, at this one, okay, this front view, if we turn it 90 degrees and look perpendicular uh, at this line right here, okay, this top edge of this surface right here where the mouse is going back and forth right now, that's represented by this line right here. By the same token, this end or the right side of this front view right here is represented by this line if we were looking at it uh, off from this other direction, okay. And ditto with this little uh, view right here. It simply means if you look at the, uh, oh, how do we want to say this? If we could picture this line here as having depth, okay, that we couldn't see. And if you look at the right side of the surface that is represented by this line, if you just pretend that it was a sheet of paper and you were looking at the edge of a sheet of paper, well, you know if a sheet of paper has one edge, it's also got to have a second edge and that's represented by this right here. Uh, did over here with the uh, uh, right side. But now then, let's talk here about the uh, inclined surfaces once again. All right, here we have the top, okay, which this entire area is really, if we measured it with a ruler like we've been talking about, is actually gonna measure less in this direction than if we measured it with the ruler in this direction. That's what we mean by foreshortened. But if we're looking at it uh, from this direction, then see this line right here? Okay. This line right here is represented by this, uh, by this inclined surface here. Uh, uh, let's see how I want to say this. It's perpendicular. Okay. This line right here, represented by this angled line, is a view that is perpendicular to this top view. In other words, if you had a sheet of paper and you had the sheet of paper slanted, okay, or tilted, so that it was not flat, this is what you would see from the top, and you would look at it from the edge, and you would see the edge of that sheet of paper as slanted. Uh, same thing is true with the right side here and of the top view and the right side of this slanted view. You see this area from here, here, if we would do a vertical line right here. That vertical line with depth is represented by this view right here. And the same thing is true if we look at the, uh, the front. Okay, If the front is going to be slanted, then the view that is perpendicular to that is going to be a slanted line. And the explanation uh, is just the same for this view as for that one, as is also the view, the, the view here, the top, the front, just looking at it from different angles, from uh, areas that are perpendicular to one another. And the oblique surface, uh, going to save a discussion for this uh, after we look at uh, a few little video clips to kind of help us in that direction. So that's all for now.